Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to another installation video. This time I'll be installing the hard drive in the Ace Aspire 5 laptop. Okay, as usual, I will have on my anti-static band to ensure that I don't short circuit anything. All right, so let's begin with the screws. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven screws to unscrew. So let me get it, get to it. Okay, with this part complete, we can now move on to the next part, which would be to open up the laptop. Now this is a tricky part, and you always want to ensure that you're careful. Try to use plastic tools first, and then if that is, is not efficient, or that doesn't work, then you move on to your metal tools. It's usually better to start at the joints, because these areas tend to be weaker. Uh, but as you can see, this ten, the, the connection tends to be a bit weaker at the joints. So you generally start at the joints. And you move on with other parts thereafter. And this could take a while, I might have to fast forward this process. Because is at first time I'm opening it up and that it generally takes a while. No, it's actually moving faster than I expected. So we'll move on to the next joint. So you want to be sure you're careful. Okay, this is, this is relatively easier than I expected, and there we go, and it is off. Now before I continue, let me just do a quick look at what exactly is inside. So we have the RAM, of course I'll be using plastic, always try to ensure you don't use metal around these areas because it could short circuit something. So we have the RAM right here, we have the exhaust pipe, or rather the cooling pipe, a copper cooling pipe, of course we have one fan, the CPU, and we have the Wi-Fi card, we have the SSD right here, a small SSD right here, um, right here will be where we put our HD or SSD one you decide to get so it goes right here now in relation to the battery is always good to take out the battery before you do anything generally I would advise you do that because you want to ensure that you don't damage it in any way so there is always good to take out the battery before you do anything Just have to disconnect you don't need to do anything for it and disconnecting it once you're disconnected you're you're good you're good okay so once you've opened it up once you open it up the next step of course is to take your hdd or ssd and to put the caddy the caddy actually comes in the box so you just place it on and you just screw it in Now it's showing there, you just screwing in to the sides so you can actually see them. Alright, so once you've done that, you just place it right here. 
identity spot uh, of course you'll see there are four slots so you just actually before you do that it's better to connect connect uh, to the actual laptop first and then you will put in your SS so after much attempt I actually had to pause the video and come back uh, I discovered the best way to actually install the ribbon onto the motherboard uh, so of course it means turn the laptop around so you can actually see it properly and I'm just going to zoom in so you can actually see what needs to be done Now what actually has to be done is that you actually have to raise the Wi-Fi card, a Wi-Fi card up, um, so that you can actually get to allow that ribbon cable connected to actually lift up properly. Because otherwise it won't go up as fully as there. And then you insert the ribbon right into the connector. And you ensure you do it gently but carefully and put it straight in and once you have it in properly that is when you would ensure that you close it like that so that is important and something that you must know when doing something like this the next step now is to ensure that you screw back in the Wi-Fi card because you can't leave that up because you want to ensure it is very stabilized and now that you screw that in of course you will now go to connect that to the cable itself to the HDD and install that by screwing it in So you just connect it, snap it in, and of course line it up. And screw it in now. So there, you, there are four screws, and you can start with any one of them. So you just screw that one in and just screw it off for and it should be secure in place. You ensure you put the battery back in. lines up okay, be gentle. okay make sure everything is lined up properly and in carefully everything else is here is back where it's supposed to be all right i'm sure the battery is stable and okay Just to test it quickly to ensure it is working. And voila. Okay, good.
The final test will be now to see whether it has been installed successfully. Now since this since this was a uh, driver was using fuse prior, you don't need to go into this manager and activate it. But you can also still go into this manager. Let me just show you quickly. Okay. Now, okay, now that you've gone to this manager, you can just confirm what is there. I've changed the name to Olapi, new volume, and it's there. It has different options including change drive letter pads, format, string volume, and delete volume properties. And sometimes you just need to discover it when you go, when you come into here. So it's just one of the ways to, to verify that, that this has been installed and the size of it. Another way is just to go into here, my PC, make sure it is there, and there it is. All right, so if you like videos such as this and the other tech videos, then please subscribe. If you like this video in itself, please press like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. This is AC here, and I'll see you again in another video.